Hi all, welcome back to Subtech Online. It's me again, Sabit Christopher. Today I will take you through how you use a goal seek function in Excel to make sure that you set your goals and look at the values, how can the values can change through to make sure that your goal is attained. Now the question you posed to us today is use a goal seek function to calculate the change in revenue required to set the net income at $1,000. Now, this is in a thousand, our figures are in a thousand, but I will just say the way, the way how they are just for simplicity. Now, uh, in simplest, they are telling us that for you to get a thousand dollars net income, what value do you need to generate as revenue? So that's plain. Taking other costs, or numbers constant those are the costs and uh, the only change we we need now is we are going to look at the gross profit how it will be attained but we are focusing on the revenue so now uh what you're going to change or what you're going to set it is what you select first then you go to uh data tab at the extreme end we have what if analysis click on what if analysis there is goal seek so the moment the dialog box for goal seek opens then uh, what is set what are we setting we are setting b20 if you need to change this you can click and change then what are we setting this at it is a thousand remember now the at the moment we have a net income of negative uh, a loss of four thousand two hundred fifty three dollars but we need to have a net income of 1000 the question is what revenue do you require so that's what we are going on what are you changing we are changing the revenue then i do okay everything changes automatically so you see we have set the net income at 1000 the revenue has changed 224303 dollars that's times a thousand then you automatically the gross profit changes any 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 value that is linked to the revenue in terms of formula it changes automatically so if i come to this mm, let me redo this quickly goal seek say that this is a thousand then we are setting this to this okay now I will do okay because I did cancel that's why it went. So when you check the gross profit, there is a formula that is linked to the revenue. That's why it changed automatically. So guys, this is how we use the goal seek to set our values in Excel. Please stick around the next time. Leave a comment below and hit that ready button and hit that bell such that any video we send through, you become the first person to receive it. Bye bye. Meet you in the next video.